Hello everyone. Welcome to this tutorial. In our previous video, we saw how to install Oloma and DeepSeek R1. Now let's take things to a next level by setting up a user-friendly web UI to interact with DeepSeek. While Oloma allows command line interaction with DeepSeek, many users prefer a graphical interface to simplify their experience. That's where the Oloma web UI comes in. In this tutorial, we will walk you through the steps to run DeepSeek using the web UI on Ubuntu 24.04. Let's get started. First, we need to set up a Python virtual environment. This isolates the required Python package from your system's Python installation, which helps to prevent conflicts between different projects. Let's install the necessary tool for creating a virtual environment. Open the terminal and run the following command. As you can see on my screen, I'm using Ubuntu version, Ubuntu 24.04.1 latest version. And these are my system configuration. Processor is Intel i7. I allocated 9.6 GB memory to this. And the disk capacity is 214 GB. Let's open terminal. Let me zoom for clear visibility and install. Let me switch to root. So we'll be performing most of the commands which requires a privilege, pseudo privilege, either a root. So I switch to root. Install apt install python3 virtual environment so the installation is done after that create a new virtual environment by running python3 hyphen m vn open web ui i will give this name so it will create a virtual environment once the virtual environment is created we need to activate it by using source command I will copy paste this. Slash bin slash activate. So here you can see on my terminal earlier it was root at the red sys admin. Now it has activated the virtual environment. So once activated your terminal prompt will change as you can see on my screen. To show the virtual environment name like open web ui v environment this confirms that the virtual environment is active now that our virtual environment is set up and activated let's install open web ui using pip command this is a web interface we will use to interact with DeepSeek. run the following command pip install open web ui once the installation completes you are ready to start the web server this will take some time so i will pause the video and once this is done i will resume it back as you can see on my screen the installation is completed to start the web ui server run the following command on the terminal open open web ui the server will start and you, sh you should see the output like this as you can see the installation is completed i have access 
the machine IP address of Ubuntu and followed by 8080, I'm able to access now. Let's click on get started. So now when you open your web browser and navigate to HTTP localhost colon 8080 or you can give the IP address as well. I have given IP address of my machine Ubuntu machine. So next once you are in the web UI, you likely need to set up an admin account to manage the interface and access the DeepSeek model. Follow the instruction on the page to create your admin account. I will give sysadmin here and for this as of now I will not give any email id. I will mention sysadmin only. Provide the password and create admin account. Now the admin account is set up. Select the DeepSeek model from the drop down menu in the web UI. Here, left hand side. You are all set starting interacting with DeepSeek just like you would with any other chatbot or AI model. For example, you can type in question and generate the text, and DeepSeek will respond accordingly. The interface looks and feels similar to ChatGPT where you can ask queries and get insightful answer from DeepSeek model. Here you can see I have installed two model. One is R1 colon 14B and another one is R1 colon 1.5B. Let's see the model. Here you can see we have multiple models but as of now I have installed 1.5B which is 1.1 GB and the size of 14 B is 9 GB. These two models I have installed. If you want, you can install as per your requirement. Go to the browser. I will select this. We can ask what is deep seek. It start thinking and it will response on the screen. Similarly, you can stop the response as you can see on my screen and you can enter the other text as well. You are now running DeepSeek locally on the Ubuntu. The web UI makes it easy to communicate with DeepSeek using a graphical interface rather than a command line. As you can see, it's a simple chat interface where you can ask questions, request text generation and more. If you want to scale up your DeepSeek instance or prefer running in the cloud, here are the couple of excellent options. One option is Linode. It's an affordable cloud hosting for deploying an Ubuntu instance and running DeepSeek. And the other is GCP, Google Cloud Platform, powerful virtual machine with GPU support, ideally for running large model like DeepSeek. On my machine, I'm not using GPU. That's why you can see the response time is slow. If you are having very good performance, like if you are having more memory and GPU, then you can install any model as per your need and it will respond very fast. Both options are allow you to set DeepSeek on a cloud instance such as Linode or GCP ensuring better performance and scalability compared to running it locally. Side by side, you can also change the model as also. Click on the model. It will get changed. You can select the two different model as well. And ask the same question. Both the model will respond. As you can see, this is left hand side responding R1 14B model, and right side you can see R1 colon 1.5B. Like this, you can explore more in this UI, and it is very easy 
to use the only thing is that if you want a better performance you, your system should have a good amount of resource memory as well as the gpu and the required drivers to be installed with respect to your gpu and that's it for this tutorial you have successfully set up DeepSeek with Olamas web UI on Ubuntu 24.04. Now you can interact with the DeepSeek in much easier way than using a command line. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like, share and subscribe for more tutorials on running and interacting with AI models and other technologies. Thanks for watching.